I'm scared, Justin. Yes. Will I drew? <laughs> I remember that. We're watching a uh, board to up to 70, uh, 78. 3, 2, 1. And play. It looks like it's raining. Oh, it's fogging. Why are, they, why are they still in the fog? They need to be out. Right? We're done with the fog art, all right? Oh, they there heard you. <laughs> You're right. Let me correct it. There we go. Probably right. You kind of died, Cho. Yeah, you kind of like st got stoned. And not like the good kind of stoned, but. Oh shit. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh my god. She guys actually throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the family technique to throw shade. They're, they're just the best at roasting motherfuckers. Y'all thought Shoji was a board game? Nah, that's us just having a roast battle. <laughs> No you. No you. <laughs> Aren't you gonna heal me with your right hand? No, I don't feel like it. Oh, okay. Take asking care. a lot out of me, bud. Uh, you, you just told us. We had you this conversation already, Boruto. Yeah, and his reason? Treason. <laughs> but what was his reason? Throw a T at the start of that and you got it right there. Dead. He doesn't have nostrils. We were able to save... Boy. How? Dude, I don't trust these fucking... Uh, this puppet these like-likes. That's my house. See, Mitsuki, you, me, house. I don't... <laughs> I wonder what betrayal feels like. Dude, Mitsuki has that look of like, you're the weird one. <laughs> People tell me I'm weird. Who that? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh. That's a much younger voice. Who's this Dr. Wild looking motherfucker? Right? <laughs> what is all this? Oh, God. God, they're like what? the white Zetsus all over again. What the fuck? This one's falling behind, so. Okay, so it's not the like like. I'm thinking of something else. Oh. What? So like some stone puppet thing. Mm. Don't fist bump him. I mean, you probably should just for trust building. Okay, but... that's what they remind me of. Dead hand. <sighs> so it's come to my attention that they have summoning scrolls, yes? Like yeah. in this world. They're walking around with capsules. This is Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> of course I do. Oh, of course, dude. Like, this much. Like, you don't understand. I have signed Team 7 up to so many missions in hopes that he would die that I'm surprised Boruto and Sarada themselves haven't died. <laughs> I need a formal Kage booty call. What? <laughs> it gets lonely here in the office. I would I would call Hinata, but she just doesn't understand the struggles of running a village. You do. You understand. We are one. And we can be more like one. Uh, oh. ah! Some do something. They made no attempt to <laughs> They made no attempt to save him. Are these tracker ninjas terrible? <laughs> They're just terrible. Uh oh, 
Shit's happening. Oh god, it's a we're, goddamn war out here. We're gonna get here just in time for it to be over and everyone's dead. Oh, so that's how you run faster. You just have to lift up your arms a little bit. This is our dudes. See? And they're all sucked. They're gonna get here just in time for the battle to be over and everyone's dead. Huh. And that's the end of the episode. Yep. You right. I'm also gonna make note that Trekker ninjas are uh, trash. Oh my god. I'm just thinking about this, like, man. Well, I mean, aside from the fact that, like, these Trekker ninjas are kind of whack, but they are technically of, like, a higher level than they are. So you mean to tell me these kids are gonna beat him? <laughs> these kids are gonna beat this fucking tuning plus level enemy? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of been my main concern ever since, like, Naruto introduced the, uh, the Sound 4 and um, how, like, they're supposedly, like, really, really strong. But the way that they set it up back then was pretty validated because they fought against Jonin. And at that point, they were, like, dead exhausted. Yeah. And then they had to fight the Genin. Mm -hmm. In which case, some of them actually won that fight or would have, and some actually lost. And now we're going to come across this one. Most of them lost. Yeah, most of them did lose. Uh, I think we talked about this before. Choji and Neji. They won. But fought. they lost. Yeah. Too. They fought to a tie. Mm -hmm. And then Kiba, Shikamaru, and um Lee Naruto slash, slash Lee they lost. All lost. And it was just because the fucking the, the um the San Shinobi came to help out mm -hmm. that they won. And that's because the battle was already over and both sides had ex exhausted all their resources. Yeah. So and when I see this... That, like, and it was such a poor matchup between fucking Tamari and... Uh, that one sound girl. Yeah, Tamari and the sound girl and fucking Homeboy. They all had really poor matchups, the sound ninja. Mm -hmm. Fucking, the dude's ability is to absorb into someone else's body and kill them from the inside. Mm -hmm. You can't kill a, a puppet. puppet like that. Yeah. The other person uses sound from a flute. Well, good luck getting your sound past WIND! <laughs> And then fucking, I'm Bone Man. I could fight you with all my bones in this field, this empty expanse of field where you can just create all the sand you could ever imagine. There's sand in your bone. As I'm dying of cancer. True that. They lost. Mm -hmm. They lost, but he died of cancer before he killed them. So, so yeah, they lost. They lost. So the whole takeaway there is that. There was like reasoning behind like the the wins and losses, mm -hmm. but when I look at Boruto, especially like looking at like one of the previous arcs, which was the uh, Hidden Mist one, and how like for example, the example of Sarada was able to single handedly take on one of them like on her own, and that's just one example. It's just I I will give it to that for the sole reason mm -hmm. the Sharing on is so OP. Okay, but that is it. She's just better than Sasuke did, <laughs> which is weird. I'm going to let it go. I want to let it go. You know why? Because mm. Obito did it better than Sasuke did, too. And he only just unlocked it. <laughs> You're right. He had it for like a minute, and he was already killing fucking war veterans. But in any case, um, yeah, I just worry about how they're going to deal with the fact that it's always been a case with that, but how to keep the quality of like Borto's like animation on par with Naruto's while still keeping respect to like the power level that they're all at. Power creep has already gotten too far in the show. You know who's gotten into a lot of fights? Borto? <laughs> a lot of, well, in Naruto. A lot of people got into a lot of fights. I mean, Naruto himself, right? Yeah. Just a lot of people in that show got into a lot of fights throughout the entire series. Everyone was just fighting all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you know who on screen went undefeated every single time? Neji? Nope. Neji Choji. Lost, ne, Neji lost to Naruto. Choji. No. Lee? Like, I know he got defeated, but still. The only character on screen to have gone undefeated was Shino. Shino. Shino went undefeated the entire series on camera. Hmm. Yet he got defeated by fucking Boruto and Mitsuki. Yeah, you're when right. he was at a point where he wasn't in control of himself and he was going for blood. Mm -hmm. 
he was stuff. out to kill these kids and they beat an undefeated ninja. Keep yeah. that in mind. Naruto has lost fights. Yeah, you're right. Not Shino. But Mitsuki... Mm. Mitsuki's lost a fight or two already. He lost to Sandboy. Or Metal Sandboy. He, he, he could have won. I, I think he would have won. He could have won if he went Sage Mode. If we, if but we, Sage Mode is something like hard to scale to their power. He did not go Sage against Shino. I think he kind of did. Yeah. It was off screen, right? Mm-mm. Everything happened on screen. They tricked him into the water. He no, not the water. that. Not that. Like oh. for his um examination oh, to be getting. Where it shows like Shino like with his like uh, safety bar thing being cut in half. And he's just like there like, on the ground. like, oh, you are his son. And that's it. And But we don't really know if he actually used Sage Mode at that time either. But I don't know. But during that time, yeah, you were right. I think he was also compromised in both like in mind so even though like he was going for blood i think part of him probably would have resisted especially near the end he was also kind of toying with them too as most villains do mm. or antagonists pseudo anti-hero something that makes them lose mm. that alone destroyed destroyed the entire power creep mm. they're somehow more powerful than shino yeah well to be fair i think for me the power creep kind of came in with uh Sarda and uh, Chocho fighting against that one one of the shins, mm. and how fast that Chocho was able to like warp right behind the dude, and just like nearly nail him, and the fact that Sarda was able to like dodge like a flying shuriken in mid air. You can dodge. You just push uh, with your chakra. I don't know how to push with my chakra. I've seen plenty of them, even through their schooling, dodge mid air. Like even in Naruto, they did a lot of mid air dodges. It's because. Air dodging is bullshit. <laughs> Where's that wave dashing? You, you only get one. Everyone gets one. You only get one per jump. So we'll we'll send the uh, discussion here then. All right. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Hashtag bye, everyone.